Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create 2D motion vector AOV in Houdini and how to use that AOV in Nuke. So first of all I will show you the motion vector AOV setup that provided by Houdini. So over here if you go into help, go to example file and in that if you find out uh, a render node example in which you can find out so many example like uh, embed occlusion and everything but over here I just click on this motion vector AOV uh, so I just click on that and that file loaded over here and if I double click over here I just go into this shop network in that I have this basic in that basic I have these things and now see over here you can find out this motion vector button vector AOV setup for motion vector AOV okay but the problem is that with this AOV you can only identify the motion of your object okay but the thing is that whenever you see anything which is in movement or something like that so there are two major portion or two major things impact on that motion vector blur okay that I will show you so see for example over here Okay, I, I just render this the default uh, motion vector in mantra but if you check over here right now see right now my camera is static so I get the motion blur due to the motion of that object okay but the problem comes over here likewise if my camera rotating like this okay so I get little difference so basically uh, this particular motion blur is due to the motion in object as well as motion of your camera so combination of that you get a proper motion blur okay while this default AOV they provide like uh, this setup is only calculate the object motion okay so there is no scope of camera movement or like that okay so I will show you a proper setup to design a proper AOV that motion vector AOV so let's create that one so now see over here I have this particle setup in which I have this camera moment and something like that okay so what I need to do is that over here I just go into this material palette in which I created principal shader okay so basically you have to create one attribute that represent that motion vector blur okay so uh, that you have to apply on your shader so now to apply anything inside or to modify anything in this specifically in principal shader what you need to do is that you just need to right click over here and over here you have to click on this allow editing of content okay so now you are eligible to go inside that particular stuff and this is the network so I am not uh, go inside that thing but over here I am going to create that setup okay so to do that over here first of all what you need to do is that uh, you just go into your out network over here you just need to create one mantra okay in which you have to go into rendering over here you have to click on allow motion blur option okay but uh, this will basically calculate the motion blur uh, on your outcomes uh, so to reduce uh, so to avoid that particular stuff over here you need to uncheck this thing that allowed image motion blur okay so now it calculates that motion blur but it is not applying on to your outcomes okay so now I go into material palette uh, I just go inside this particular stuff and over here I am going to create that setup okay so and to do that over here we need to create the same thing get blur p that you find out over there and over here you just set one and over here you have to create one transform in which you have to divide two space over here you have to define NDC space okay that is your normalized device coordinate 
now I just duplicate all those stuff over here in that over here I just set it to 0 okay and over here I just need to apply subtract so from this to this now over here because this uh, normalize the things and everything so over here I need to create one render stack in which over here I have to define vector value and in value name I have to define image resolution and that should be multiply with my this value okay and now the thing is that uh, uh, when I see this particular stuff it, it just give me that u and v for that 2d vector but uh, accidentally it generate v and u so I have to rearrange that vector information in a proper manner so to do that over here I just create one vector to float over here float to vector and over here I just swapping this thing so u to v and v to u okay and maybe as it is and over here I need to create one bind export okay and I just name it like motion vector plus mvb and that should be in vector okay so now this particular shader also generate one attribute which name mvb and it calculate the motion vector blur okay with the calculation of that camera and everything so now again I go into this out in that what you need to do is that over here you have to come over here in image over here in extra image plane you have to click plus over here in which you have to define that attribute name that is mvb and make sure that it is in vector formation and now whatever the render setting or whatever you have to define you just define that camera and everything like you if you want to render that sequence you just define it over here and just click on this render to disk okay so I already rendered out two scene over here so now we jump into new okay so over here we have this default motion vector blur and over here we have the render with AOV now which basically carry this MVB okay as well as we have one more setup this is the thing and this is the thing and in which we have MVB okay so what am I going to do is that see over here for example I, I took this scene maybe and over here I am going to apply vector blur okay in which you have to define UV MVB okay and I just set one and two over here and now I just click on this wipe button so through that basically I can compare that motion vector the default motion vector and the calculate motion vector through this vector blur okay so over here I will show you some setup like first of all you have to define that uh, which UV channel that is carrying that uh, motion vector information second thing over here what I prefer is that definitely over here we just define motion amount to 2 and over here I prefer that blur UV should be your linear as well as invert UV as well as over here I just define minus 0.25 and see you will get a proper motion vector blur okay so now for example I apply same thing over here so I just copy alt C over here in this thing and now if you check this and this see you will get almost same result okay and make sure that you just normalize these things otherwise it will create some blackness or overlapping so over here you get some brighter area or something like that okay so I prefer that you just click normalize if you want some soft turn inside that particular stuff you just click over here 
so it give you a little more blurriness so whenever you click on this soft line make sure that you uncheck or check whatever the preferable okay so soft line over here also okay and you will get a proper motion blur in post it will also give you that uh, camera motion see okay so this will help you whenever you have some uh, smaller or you can say that uh, for example if you create some reel and in that you want some motion blur so um, it is difficult or it is time consuming process in hoodney if you apply motion blur directly in hoodney so it is preferable that you just create this aov come into your compositing software like new and you use that aov to get your motion blur okay so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another tutorial thank you